I heard about Gateway Academy through a, mutual, through a friend that I used to work with in a public school system. And um, her sister actually worked at um, a Gateway, at a uh, Teen Challenge Academy for girls. And she recommended to Google it and look into a voice academy. I was worried, troubled, couldn't sleep, um, was really scared about his future, about his decisions he's making, where he's at, who he's hanging out with, what he's doing. So it was very, very, very stressful, high stressful and uh, scary. The vision is um, they're focusing mainly on the boys to get free from addictions and struggles and um, find themselves and get a true identity. Um, one of their big um, stressors are though is that it's family restoration because when you're in a situation like this, it's not just the child that's falling or struggling, it's the entire family that's on a downfall and rumbling with it. So the family restoration is an amazing part of this program. I like the, um, the initial start was um, I reached them through email and actually the staff here was awesome with answering every question no matter how silly or crazy it was at what time of the day or night it came. It was very guided through and talked through. Um, we received a wonderful handbook that had a total layout of um, the um, process of his induction, the times, the days, whatever would be going on, very scheduled. Um, I could follow on almost a daily basis where he should be. Um, there was also broadcasting over the internet so I could observe and watch him throughout those first couple of days and weeks um, till he reached chapel and kind of follow through this. Um, staff was amazing with phone calls and keeping me updated. The hard part as a parent was not seeing him for four months, that no, not having any contact with him in person was really difficult. It was difficult for siblings as well. Um, the first parent visit was overwhelming, amazing, and seeing a total different person. In our case, we saw the Aaron that we used to know, the Aaron that he always been that had disappeared for that time of being. And um, a lot of uh, healing, talking and sharing. Um, going home after that first visit was feeling for the first time relieved, um, a blessing um, at peace, knowing everything is gonna work out. It's gonna take its time. It's gonna be in God's time, not in our time, but it's gonna happen. I know Aaron knew off Jesus. I don't think he knew um, about Jesus, um, the, the truth, how it would really, in, um, how it would be really coming into him and how it would affect him. Um, the school is, um, amazing on the part of teaching it and sharing it without the pressure uh, where you can see his own growth and knowledge and his own uh, decision making on it and when he actually came to the point to meet Christ and be open to it it was a true opening and not a fake. I think um, for, for, for the school here it is definitely making long-term friends, building, building a foundation that you can fall back on and come back to. I think first of all is giving, letting the word out that places like this do exist. It's very hard to find and locate. Um, you get very easily turned down and discouraged to find help. So I think word of mouth and broadcasting and bringing out the word that this exists is one of the main things. Uh, volunteering uh, is a great opportunity because you're going to get hand-on experience and you're also going to benefit yourself on it. I truly, I truly think that um, this opportunity um, that you guys given today um, is, I think, just saying thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity and having this place fall into our lives because it did make a life-changing decision in all of our family, not just Aaron and me and my husband. It's everybody got affected by it. Just a great thank you. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606 or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.